What is that? Come on, Codemasters, make a better game. Welcome back to some more F124, my team career mode. We're heading to the Dutch Grand Prix today. Uh, solid finish here in Belgium, P5, with some good racing. And as a team, we are sitting P7, 17 points in the constructor standings. And yeah, we just want to head into this one, see how we perform. And uh, there's a season break, of course. So let's just get through that. And yeah, a good chunk of upgrades are coming through. So let's see what comes through and if we can perform better here at the Dutch Grand Prix. If you guys are enjoying the series, of course, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe using the subscribe button down below. Really do appreciate your support. All right, upgrade time. We got to take a look and see what upgrades we can trigger. We got 2,000 points. So that is quite a few. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, supplier upgrade for durability has come through. We could do a tire wear upgrade. Uh, that thing seemed to have given us a little bit of a boost last episode, of course. That'll come in before Azerbaijan. And then we could potentially trigger another durability upgrade. This one, uh, MGUH. Uh, oops, nope, we cannot because department capacity is reached. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the only thing we can do for now. We can invest in a new aerodynamics part of the factory. Um, that will bring it up to spec one, which would allow us to get a couple more upgrades. So let's go to aerodynamics, get the resource point generation. That'll come on the 19th of August. Good news, we got our fuel technology efficiency upgrades. So I think that should allow us to trigger something else uh, we have insufficient points at this time so let's just head straight into the dutch grand prix weekend and we are ready to go so let's head into the weekend just look at that sea of orange no surprises if i tell you we're here in holland at zanvoort for the max verstappen celebration party it's a quick track and perfect for high speeds high stakes qualifying welcome along to the dutch grand prix qualifying day Let's take a look then and see where we can put this car. Welcome to the qualifying session of the Dutch Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, let's drop our fuel and get ready to go out on sauce. It's going to be sunny for the most part, so we're not expecting any surprises with the weather. All right, let's head out there and set a lap time. First lap out here. We have enough for another lap, I think. So let's cross. Dead last right now. Let's go again, if we can. We're gonna try and preserve a lot of fuel here. Right, that's us pushed down into P15. Please tell me I have enough fuel. Slow fuel mode as we try and cross the line here. We're going to be a little bit slow. But P11. All right. Perfect. 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 P11. P12 after whoever that was crossed the line. Hey, yo. We make it through to the next round. You can with a five position grip penalty. Interesting. Sonoda, Ocon, Ricardo, Gazi, Duan, and Sargent knocked out. Take a quick look at race director incidents. Collision with me. Huh. I don't remember that happening. Maybe that was during my cooldown lap. I don't know. Oscar Piastri using three sets of soft tires. You're joking. That is wild. Anyway, heading into the next round. Let's see, here we go. Finishing the lap. Our first level Q2, back of the grid. Let's recharge. Go again. Come 
Come on. All right, improving by about two tenths here. That's P14 right now. Nowhere near P10. I mean, I don't expect to get out of this qualifying session into Q3, but P14 is okay. All right, final lap here, fresh tires. Almost three tenths improved. Where does that put us then? I'm not sure if, oh yeah, P15. Didn't expect to get out of here, but hey, Decent showing in Q2. Yeah, not too shabby, Alonso. Um, Charles Leclerc takes the top step of the uh, Q2 rankings here. Uh, Joe behind myself and the Hülkenberg, Stroll, Magnussen, and Albon knocked out. Moving on to the Grand Prix itself. Let's see what we can do. For years, the passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside in races across Europe. Here this weekend, it's even easier to find the Dutch fans as they have a race to call their own once again. A warm welcome to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe, of course, as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. Zandvoort circuit then, 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left, with plenty of steep camber and elevation changes to keep our drivers on their toes throughout the 2.6 mile lap. And watch out for cars making use of the DRS zone into turn 1 to attempt an overtake. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Hamilton, Sainz, Russell, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Bottas, Albon, Magnussen, Stroll, Ace, Joe, Sargent, Doohan, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Ricardo, Ocon, and Yuki Tsunoda. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So we're starting P14 after some uh, grip penalties for other car, for one other car, I think. We'll go a lap faster here, soft to medium, no rain expected. We'll drop our fuel by a little bit here. Uh, see if we can do with two and a half-ish laps of surplus fuel. Let's jump into it. All right, let's give this race a shot. We do have some tire wear upgrades on the car, so I'm hoping that the tires don't drop off a cliff. Lights out. Not too shabby Alonso of a start here. Following Bottas' line here. Leaving enough space on the outside for a car that seems to be there. I don't know if it is still there. The wide toboggan run. Trying to use as much momentum to my advantage using Alonso a bit here. Going a bit wide, but we make it stick around the outside. Oh, a bit of a dive there, a bit of a lungy dive there on Alonso. Definitely not happy that Frenchman, the French rookie. Or sorry, with the Spanish rookie. What? It's the Alpine that got stuck in my head. I called Alonso French. That's the biggest insult I can give a Spanish person. Also in Italian. And the other way is the biggest insult I can give a French person. Anyway, we got we got Perez ahead. Come on, let's make this work for us, please. Okay, we need DRS to stay close to Perez. Fast to sector three, though. When you're within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Finding some real pace today. I like it. Now, I don't want this car to drop off. That's the issue. Can't let it drop off. It happens. Because we're in a car that still struggles a bit. Okay, there are some good upgrades 10. on it, but we still need some additional performance compared to the Red Bull, Mercedes, Ferrari. These guys are 
miles better than I am. But we'll try and stay close to them as much as we can. You might experience some understeer now that you're in the wake of the car ahead. Try to get past as soon as possible. Engineer quiet. Confirmed. I don't need him yapping in my ear. Okay, we got a good gap on Alonso. Fast as Sector 3 again. Something's coming together for this car. Nearly lost it in turn 1. We've got a procession of cars happening here. Max Verstappen pulling away by himself. Maybe like a 3 second gap to P2. Does someone perhaps have wing damage or something that's causing performance issues up ahead? That would be optimal to claw away at these guys. Okay, I need to lock in. Keeping up nicely with Perez right now. Just maintaining P10, P9. I think I might pit for hards, not mediums. Tire wear is starting to go a lot faster than I thought, especially with the front left. So that's an issue. Front left is going haywire. Might have to pit early. Around lap 10 maybe? Or lap 12? Front left is not responding as much as I wanted to. Needs to figure itself out a bit. Come on. Alright, my car gave up. Lost DRS. Beautiful, isn't it? I think we're gonna lose that to Alonso then. We need to go a couple more laps, that's the issue. So we'll let Alonso through. Maybe he'll help us catch the guys ahead. Oh my god. That lockup was insane. Please, Senor Alonso, can you take me to a Perez, please? Drag me along, please. Front left tire is given up entirely. Turning is an issue. Yeah, 45%, it's gone. That front left goes pretty quickly around the Dutch Grand Prix Zandvoort circuit. Set hard tires. Copy that, hards next time we box. Box a slap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. We're in trouble. 60% on the front left. And we're losing grip. So we are going in. Gonna go for hards. Early stop. Here we go, here we go. Hard tires selected. Our tires are not looking good. So we'll have to rely on the harder compound. To try and get a slight undercut, but also try to maintain position around P10. Get me out, get me out. 2.3. Okay. I think I released a little too soon. Cost me a little, maybe a couple tenths there. But 2.3 from the pit crew, so they cooked. Alright, let's see what we can do on these hards. They're already feeling much better than the softs. Just need to stay close to where Alonso is. Need to try and maintain position here in P10. That would be points. Would be huge. Our former teammate Jack Dewan. Can we get a little DRS off him? Let's see. I think we do. Slight touch of the gravel, but that's fine. Oh, you beauty. See if we can breeze past him. 
without using any ERS. Went a little too deep there. But that's fine. We have a kick Sauber next. Sonoda. Nice, you know they're giving me a little DRS here. Let's go. Where is Alonso? Did he pit? He did pit. He's on mediums. Didn't lose out too much to Alonso. He releases just ahead of me, so this is good. Yellow flags. I think someone's retiring. I just want to stay right behind Alonso. This is fine. Oscar Piastri out. Is that going to cause some kind of ESC or safety car? That would be a massive disadvantage to me. Because that would give some others who are yet to pit a cheaper pit stop. But it seems like we're fine. No overtaking. He's off to the side there. At least we get some DRS. This is good. Although, Sonoda holding us up is not a good sign. It means some others might get the overcut if we're too held up. Okay, Sonoda's probably peeling into the pits. There he goes. Let's go, Alonso. What you've got? P12 right now. Hukenberg needs to pit still. Okay, Bottas behind. So this is good. I think we maintained position. Very nice. I was losing DRS to Alonso when I was pitting on the softs. Now I have maintained positions on fresh tires. I'm happy with that. Oh no, Alonso's pulling away. This is bad. Yep, the mediums. That's the difference. The hards and the mediums. The delta is quite significant here. But I'm waiting for that crossover point where the mediums are going to die off and then I'm still going to have some tire life left. I'm hoping that comes sometime soon. But otherwise, I'll have let Botas through and use him as our pull system here. DRS pull system, that is. Let's let him through. Alright, Bottas, let's see what you can do here. Drag me along, please. Let's see. This is it. This is it. Let's keep going. No, I lost DRS on Bottas. It's not good. It's not good. Alright, we're slowly going to have to concede positions here. Ah, we're going to forego some points. Wish we could score some points here. Car's performance is not holding up. It's strange, the front left. It's not even overheating. And it's dying on its own really quickly. It's a bit depressing, actually. Alright, Magnuson. Oh my god, Albon looking like he wants Magnuson's position as well. But unable to get past me. Alright, outside the points. Let's see what we can do with Magnus in here. Now let's see when these mediums will die off. I don't think they will, considering this is the AI we're talking about. The AI that doesn't even have any tire temps to worry about. But we'll see. 
but for sure going on to mediums would have been a wrong call we would have been already struggling on the front left tire preservation is something we gotta work on come on let's see Yeesh, that was not good. But we got some DRS to try and catch up to Magnuson. And the ERS to do so as well. Let's keep at it. Alright. 10 laps to go. I lost DRS on Magnuson. Have to let Albon through now. It's a matter of just letting these cars through one by one, man. Car is not up to pace. Just can't compete. It's a shame. Shame, really. Alright, Albon. Drag me along. Your turn now. Yep. It's not going to be points today, for sure. As Stroll tries to move up the inside. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to let Stroll through as well. Bounce of the car is just not there, man. It's just not working out. The front left tire dying off so quickly is costing us quite a bit, too. Because of the grip issue. Especially when we're turning. Is Albon gonna go for it? Is Albon gonna go for it? It's just a constant battle for P11 between these two guys and me just trailing behind them. I don't want any of this nonsense that they're getting into. I just want to keep things clean. Keep my nose clean. Relax behind them. Just try and secure a decent position here. Ocon is 9 seconds behind us. Oh, Stroll's going for it again. Doesn't dive it on this occasion, but we're sure down the start finish straight. He's going to try and make a move again. Let's go, let's go. I'm leaving this in because it's content. Otherwise, I'm going to have like a 10 minute video. I want to give you guys a little more than that. Because I don't think I got the pace to get past these guys. But anything can happen. You never know. We're trailing nicely behind these guys. Let Albon and Stroll fight it out. Maybe they'll crash. Who knows? Oh, switchback of dreams. Switchback of dreams. Got Albon. Hold the phone. And he gets me back. Don't want to lose touch to Stroll, please. Hold on. There's a yellow flag. Is someone behind us or ahead of us? I don't know who it is. I think it might be behind us. It might be Alcon, actually. Because he disappeared off our radar. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this lag? What is that? Come on. EA, make a better game. Codemasters, make a better game. Shucks, that screwed me over big time. Okay, I gotta use a bit of battery to stay close to Stroll, please. No word whatsoever, but it must be all gone out. Great game, EA, great game. Oh, made me lose ground on Stroll. You're joking. Get Codemasters off. I swear to God, find some better developer. Get some solo devs to make this next game, man. Seriously. 
EA Sports. We ruined the game. All right, we'll have to let Albon through again. Go, Albon. Last lap. Man, I was going to try and catch Stroll and overtake him on this last lap, but... Ah, uh, EA had other ideas. Next we step and wins it. Yeah, it's gonna be P13 for us. Tire wear is an absolute nightmare. Yep, it's gonna be P13. Ah, Codemaster's ruining at the end for us. Absolutely ruining okay, at the end up, of it. Bring it home. And here we are then by the end of it. EA Codemaster scripting it a bit. Uh, Verstappen, Norris, and Hamilton on the podium with Russell, Sainz, Leclerc, Perez, Alonso, Bottas, and Magnussen in the points. Stroll, unfortunately we couldn't get him because of that weird, weird, weird glitch. And then Albon, myself, Ricardo, Joe, Sunoda, Hürgenberg, Gasly, Sergeant Duan rounding out the finishers with Ocon. There we go. He didn't pop up as um, the DNF. Um, it just glitched. And then Piastri at the end. Stand wise let's take a look p10 still one point ahead of Ocon who fails to score a point today and still p7 in the constructors so that is always good to see uh yeah thank you ea codemasters for a brilliant screen freeze and glitchy moment there um giving me a fantastic p13 uh could have been p11 you know but yeah thanks so much uh anyway we head to the next one thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like subscribe using the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next thank you guys so much for the support take care and i'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow